The World Health Organization, WHO, and the Africa Centers for Disease Control, Africa CDC, have urged African countries not to destroy COVID-19 vaccines that have expired. Many countries on the continent got AstraZeneca vaccines through the UN-facilitated COVAX scheme for their campaigns. Now, the World Health Organization says countries whose talks might have expired should hold on to this talk and wait for further guidance. The Africa CDC says it has spoken to the manufacturer and has been reassured that the vaccines are still safe. Reports say many vaccines can be used up to 36 months after manufacture, but because COVID-19 jabs are new, there is not enough data to prove their effectiveness over longer periods. The call came after Malawi and Sudan said they would discard more than 70,000 doses of the AstraZeneca jabs that were out of date. The rollout of COVID-19 vaccines in Africa has been slow, partly because of supply issues and uh, skepticism about the jab. Out of 55 countries in Africa, 41 have benefited from the delivery of vaccines via the global sharing scheme COVAX. Seven are yet to receive their first batch. We'll be right back. We are on the road every day, canvassing throughout Africa for news you really need. We follow this story everywhere, from every corner of Nigeria to the wide African expanse. We bring you what's making headlines. We connect you with news you can use. ANN, African News Network, in a truly African spirit. Ghana has shut down what it called 49 illegal television stations. The National Communications Authority says broadcasting by too many stations would affect signals. Authorities say the TV stations were being shut down because they were unlicensed. They say the action will ensure efficient use of the country's broadcasting spectrum. At least 146 TV channels are currently authorized to operate. The process of shutting down on licensed stations is being done in collaboration with the police and intelligence agents. The NCA says it continuously monitors satellite free-to-air television platforms. More than 50 radio stations were shut down in a similar exercise in 2017. That is ANN News Brief at 11. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi.